Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi guys, I'm here with the Sherman L and it's time to elevate my night riding. And I'm going to be doing that with this, the Cyclop Halo by uh, Mr. Mayart. And I'll put a link below in the description if you want to uh, check these out yourself and perhaps get one. They're available for, I'm pretty sure, all the, the veteran wheels. And uh, this, specifically one, this specific one is compatible with the Lynx and um, the L. Now this was uh, kindly sent to me by Artem. If you're watching this, I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to make use of this. My original intent was to install it on my Lynx. Now, I'm this close to passing a thousand miles on my Lynx, but the um, reality is I've done very little night riding in the Lynx. The L, on the other hand, <laughs> is about this close to passing 1,300 miles. And of those, I've probably put on about 900 of those miles. And uh, I'm not exaggerating when I say I've ridden over 100 of those miles in pitch darkness using only the stock light. I carry an extra bright light with me that I do use for going around corners and other kind of stuff. Um, but an awful lot of my night riding, I just don't even use that because the light that comes with these wheels and it's the same light that's on the, the Lynx, these two, the, the L and the Lynx share the same light. It's, it's really bright. And I haven't tried this. I'm looking forward to uh, comparing the two, but I can say one issue with the stock light is it's bright as hell and you are going to blind everyone in front of you. <laughs> you're going to blind all the pedestrians. You're going to blind all the bicyclists and you're going to blind all the cars. Now, I've, of the 100 miles plus that I've been doing night riding on this, it's been in the mountains and or areas where it's pitch darkness and no overhead lights, nothing. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had the, the high beams flashed at me by cars coming at me. And I'm saying, ah, I, sorry, I can't turn it off. I know I'm blinding them, right? Uh, this light has a low beam and a high beam, uh, which is really cool. And I'm going to uh, check that out and see um, how well it works. Uh, so I'm going to install it on the L right now. And, um, and then I'm going to bring in the camera and show you this guy up close. Before I do that, all I need to do is remove the stock light. Light is super easy to get to on the, the uh, Lynx and the L. You just remove this screw here with a four millimeter Allen wrench. The other one, unplug it, and uh, you're ready to upgrade the light. So let me take this guy out and then uh, bring the camera in and show you these two side by side. Here we have both lights side by side. The stock light I just removed. You can see the size difference. This definitely feels beefier, heavier, but it's drop in replacement. You don't need to modify your wheel at all to, to install this. It has a compatible connector, it has the beeper. Now, looking at this, I can tell that it is a 3D printed case. Obviously, he, um, Artem has outsourced you know, the electronics and packaged them all in this. But it's an absolutely beautiful packaging job. The 3D print is beautiful. The design looks elegant. I'm a sucker for quality, and this uh, exudes quality right now to me. <laughs> um, so again, the beeper has a switch. When the light gets mounted on your wheel, the switch is facing downward. 
So it's it's in this protective uh, rubber, clear rubber case. So you can operate it. I assume that's for weatherproofing. This is uh, the cable is uh, silicone where it goes to the case. Now because of all of this, I assume that this light is weatherproof. Certainly, at least it's weatherproof is the one that comes with the wheel. Uh, but I don't know absolutely for sure if someone knows positively. Maybe you can throw a, throw a comment down below. Uh, yeah, just all, you know, brass inserts, all the screws, hex. Um, you know, they're not Phillips. Love that. Switch feels really nice. Love that quality feel to it. I like that this has a uh, daylight running light. Now, normally, if this is a non position, when you turn on your light from the wheel, this will turn on and this will turn off. But during the day, if you just want the daylight running light, and I always like to use my lights during the day just for safety. Every bit of higher visibility is good in my mind. You can just turn that off. And now um, when you turn on the, the light uh, from the front panel, uh, only the daylight running light will uh, turn on. Uh, now let's see, it comes with uh, a little bit of hardware. Apparently this is not needed for the L. I think it's needed for the Lynx. Since uh, the box was came to me as a Lynx headlight, and it comes with two fobs, which is great. And I'll show you how I'm going to um, how I'm going to mount this, so it's always ready to use. I believe I might get these buttons wrong, but I believe if you when you press the A button, the high beam turns on. And when you let go of the A button, the high beam um, turns off. So it's just a momentary thing. If you hit, click the B button, the high beam turns on and stays on until you click the B button again. Uh, so very handy, nice. All right, I think that's about it. So let me install this and we'll go from there. All right, well, this was uh, one of the quickest mods that I've done to a wheel. It took probably maybe two minutes to install the light, just two screws and uh, plug it in. Tighten them up pretty good, but I can still adjust this a little bit. I'll get a feel for how I want to aim it when I'm riding. Of course, I got the fob. Now I'm going to Basically, I'm going to attach this to the side. I always ride with at least one fanny pack where I keep, keep my bottle of uh, water, tools, and stuff like that. And I'm just going to attach it to one of the hooks on the side of that. So I'll be able to uh, very quickly reach for it and uh, operate the light as needed. So I think uh, it's time to take this for a ride. It's dark out right now. So I'm going to suit up and take this on the river and uh, show you uh, how it performs. See you in a bit. All right, ready to do some riding. Wanted to show you how I connected the fob to my fanny pack. I pretty much wear this fanny pack whenever I'm riding. I have my water, light, tools, batteries, miscellaneous things in here. And uh, I've attached this clip to the strap that holds the water bottle on so it's going to be very easy i don't have to I can always reach for my water bottle and i can get to the fob blindfolded and by the way uh, the more i play with the fob uh, it also exudes quality <laughs> everything about that li this light is uh, definitely seems like you're getting your money's worth i think okay i am ready so uh next i'll see you on the trail all right, I am on the river trail. The low beam is on. Now this is a problem really with all lights, particularly 
headlights which are, are uh, shaped like this is that uh, you know your wheel tilts right when you brake or when you accelerate so when I'm accelerating initially the low beams are pointing closer to the ground and there's, since it's shaped I you can't really see very far at all and uh, like right now I can see uh, great it's basically when you once you get up to speed once you get up to speed the light is perfect like how I have it uh, set it gives me nice nice distance and uh, here I'm going to reach over and click uh, turn on the high beam now the high beam does not in my opinion it doesn't really throw light any further you know like in a car when you turn in the high beam you can it's more powerful so you can really see far this no basically it just lights up further down the path See, I could tell I passed those people uh, didn't look like I was blinding them I couldn't even see their their faces so when I turn on the high beam it doesn't uh, it doesn't give me any better light distance wise it just uh, lights up everything above <laughs> above the middle of the light so um, yeah, right now I'm switching and I'll switch camera views here pretty soon. I'll show you better from my perspective, but um oop. what was that? I assume that was a dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use a high beam much at all. Might be good in maybe some of my mountain rides where it light right it'll uh, light up the the walls of the surrounding mountains but in terms of the road ahead I think the low beam is plenty and it's very bright it's definitely more it's shaped it's more focused there's less spillover and uh, I think I definitely like I do with all my night rides I, I do carry a a very bright light with me because like for instance right now I'm going down and I can't see anything <laughs> that's someday in the future we're gonna have lights on our wheels that will uh, respond to the pedal angle so when they're tilted down the lights will shift so you can uh, you can always see the, the path in front of you so yeah, works uh, plenty of light. I don't think, um, you know, just like the, the Sherman light. So I'm gonna continue riding here. I'm gonna switch views of the camera. So I'll put you behind me so you can get a better sense of what I'm seeing. And also I'm going to post video of me riding with the stock light in the corner of the video and you, you can be the judge um, uh, I think it's providing a longer stroll but it's not like day and night I think the biggest advantage of this light is the shape the, the, the shape of it so that it uh, it's not blinding everyone so uh, I guess I will see when I look back at the video what the difference is Okay, I'm at a stop. The low beam is on. I'm going to turn on the high beam. You see the trees maybe are lit in the distance. I'll turn it off. Accelerate. You can see it's pointing towards the ground. And as soon as I get up to speed, it still hasn't gotten up to speed. And here I'm going to go down low and it's a canyon. I can't see anything. This is where I'm going to have to get my 
other light to help. Okay, let me turn on the high beam. Goes on now. It, it lights up the bushes to the side of me, but I'm not sure it adds anything to uh, to the distance. Let me bring the camera up higher. I beam uh, off. I beam on. So yeah, I don't think. Uh, Mostly I will ride with the high beam off. It's plenty bright. Just with that low beam. See, I totally blinded, or not blinded, but I couldn't see anything. I definitely got to get my, uh, you know, I'm get my other flashlight on. So here's my, uh, my handheld. So I can leave this off most of the time. When I'm coming up to, uh, so, you know, there's a bicyclist. Definitely was not, definitely was not blinding him. That's for sure. So, yeah, that's great. But here I'm coming up to a decline. I better turn on my other light so I can see down there. Whenever you're going down or up, it's good to have a secondary light for safety. Or when you're going around corners. Since uh, also we don't our headlights don't turn. Okay, I will leave you with some extended riding here with the night light. Now in the bottom of the river. Thought this might be a cool spot to check out the high beam effect. So uh, it's off right now. Turn on the high beam. And you can see how it's just lighting up the, the sides a bit more. Turn it off. On, off. I don't think the high beam really adds anything that I would need, which is, uh, well, I guess that's a good thing. I don't really, I don't really need it. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't add any distance. I think that's the only reason I would need the high beam.
right guys well I hope you enjoyed this extended light show with uh, this cool light upgrade for the Sherman class wheels it's a keeper for me I love the extended uh, or the, the the shaped beam I've been riding past people and there's I get zero sense that uh, they're getting blinded from the light even though the lights kind of shining past them it's definitely uh, not that blinding light in the, into the face and uh, I don't think I need the high beam I honestly yeah I, I don't think I can think of a time I'd, I'd want to turn it on since it doesn't give me any more distance it just lights up stuff higher up and this lights up plenty for me uh, and uh, of course the daylight running lights going to be a great great feature for me all right guys i'm going to continue having some fun night riding here hope you uh, found this video useful and until next time safe riding <laughs>